Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to upload Google Drive file to Webflow which means that any submission or any kind of file that is uploaded in a shared folder in Google Drive then that item will be uploaded as a live item on Webflow. For this complete process for integrating these two applications we are going to create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be new file uploaded in Google Drive and our action will be to create live item in Webflow. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn how you can create a live item in Webflow from a file that has been uploaded in a Google Drive. Like here is my Google Drive folder which is a shareable one and for example for a poster competition some students will upload their file over here which will be sent to Webflow to create a live item like you can see over here. We have the name, email and the caption that the student will be giving for this picture and this will be the poster. Similarly, we can create such an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided to you by Pabli. And we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now and that will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect where you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Upload Google Drive file to Webflow. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will notice the two major modules of Pabli Connect, Trigger and Action on which the whole automation runs. Before that, I would like to remind you to open your applications that are supposed to be integrated that is Google Drive and Webflow so that you can connect both of them to Pabli Connect and also to perform changes that are required for the workflow. Now you can see trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means that trigger will be the first application where the event will take place in the very first time. Like our trigger right now is Google Drive because as soon as a file is uploaded to this shared Google Drive folder, then it will trigger the workflow. And the action which is going to be Webflow will make sure that the file that it is going to get from Google Drive will be uploaded on the website which looks like this. So let us move ahead with our trigger. So trigger event over here is going to be new file but in a specific folder, right? So we are going to select a specific folder. Any new file uploaded will not be considered. That specific folder only will be considered because Google Drive is a personal account and you cannot share all the folders or complete drive with anybody. So this is one folder which is already shared. The settings have been done. Make sure you, you do the same. Now click on connect since Google Drive is a Google application. Add new connection and then sign in with your Google account. Select your account and click on allow. And thus Google Drive and Pabli Connect are connected in such a way that as soon as a different Google account to which this folder is shared uploads a file over here for submission then all the details related to that specific uploaded file will be received over here as a response. You have to select that specific folder first of all so the name of our specific folder is demo1 and which is the same. So you can select the folders from here and we need right now demo1. Now when you click on save and send test request you have to make a sample submission right here. Alright. See the response right now is 0 because there is no file that is uploaded in this folder. So what we will do first upload a file from a different Google account and then click on save and send test request. Now here I have another Google account where again the same folder is here in the shared with me field which means that this is a different Google account where this folder is shared. So let us click on new and upload a file over here. I am going to upload this poster for the poster making competition and see the name of the file is save earth which is going to be the caption. Alright, so we have uploaded this. Let us go back to our workflow now and now we will click on save and send test request. Here again we have the file and when we come back to our workflow we will see that yes we have received the file submission over here. So this is the title. Now the title is with the extension .jpg. But here when we will be uploading it for the poster caption, we need this name of the file which is actually the caption. So we will remove this extension from here. Other than that, we will have the email of the submitter and also the name of that person over here like we have it. Alright, so we are going to map those name and email address of the person here. 
All right. So let us close this module and move ahead with our formatting of the text that I just said that we have to remove the extension. So click on this plus button and add one more step to your workflow, which is going to be text formatter. Now text formatter is a feature that is built inside Pabli and it is used to format the text of your responses in any way that you want. Right now we have to split the text. So we will select this event. Connection is not a difficult task because it is inside Pabli only. Now we scroll down and we will see first you have to map the text that you need to split. So you will map it. How we will map it? Take the data from the previous step for which we will receive this drop down menu of all the trigger responses. Open this menu and scroll down and you will get the name of the file which is this title. Right. So you want to split the text from this dot. Right. You don't want the JPG. So the separator over here is going to be this dot. And what segment do you want? If you select all segments over here, you will get save earth also and JPG also. But you do not need the JPG. You just want save earth. So you will just select the first one. Click on save and send test request and see the response will have only the title which is save earth. And here is the response. This is the caption for your picture. Now close this module and we will now move ahead with our action application final destination which is Webflow. Select your event which is create live item because you want to display it over your website like this. Alright, so here we will click on connect and then we will go to add new connection because you are using Webflow for the very first time in this workflow. Secondly, you are connecting Webflow so that to create a live item, Pabli Connect is going to use all the other data that is there in this workflow. The response from the Google Drive and also the formatted text over here. Now for the connection with Webflow, you need an API token. How do you get the API token? From these instructions if you follow them. So first you need this bearer. Right, so you copy this bearer from here and paste it in the empty field. Give a space and then you have to enter this API access over here. How do you get it? Follow these steps. Go to the site where you are working, click on the settings. It will take you to this page of site settings where you will find integrations. Click on integrations and the page will change to this where you will scroll down and find API access. Now you have to generate a new API token for your workflow. Copy this token, go back to your workflow and here paste it. Now bearer space and the API token. Click on save and your web flow will be connected to Pabli Connect. And here the connection is done. Now since you've selected a specific site from where you've got the API access, then the site will be selected on itself. That is super cool over here. What is the collection? So the collection where I want to post my pictures over here is competitions right so I will open this drop down menu and select competition because it is for poster competition now you have to fill in these details over here for your uploading of file so first the email address is required so rather than sc scrolling through all the data this dummy data you know all the details what are to be filled over here so type in the search and map data at the rate it will take you to this email address that you want to enter over here for the submitter of this picture. Now what is the caption? For the caption we formatted the text which is the name of our file. So from the result you will take save earth which is the caption. In case of image you will take the image from Google Drive that is the link of this specific image. Now since the folder is already shareable the file is also shareable that is an automatic feature. Open this and this web content link is the link that you will paste over here in image. So it will straight away send the image over here like this other poster. Alright, now what is the full name? So the full name over here is this because this is the name through which our picture was uploaded. So this name will be visible since the email address is here and that is connected to this name also. After this is done, scroll down and you will find two important fields over here, archived and draft. Now what Webflow does is, if you do not mention that is the file supposed to be archived or drafted, then it gives an error in the workflow. So write over here as a boolean value, which is false. You do not want your file to be archived, you type false over here. And similarly, you type false in draft also. Rest of it is not required. It just depends on your requirement. Click on save and send test request and you will receive a response and the file will also be uploaded to Webflow website. And see, 
the response says zero for archive and draft which is it is not archived and not drafted email is here caption is here name is here the slug and all is generated automatically now it shows no error which means the work has been done perfectly fine close this module come here to the front page and now we will go back to webflow to check have we received it or not let us refresh it and see we have it the name is here the email address is here the poster caption is here and this is the poster this is the file we uploaded the caption we transformed or formatted email address we entered and name and similarly for every file that is uploaded in your google drive like this a new uploading will be done in this way and you don't have to do that manually again and again so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you